I'm OG, y'all new to the game. All right, what's up, guys? So it's Omar from Simply Car Things. And uh, for today's video, I wanted to talk about why purchasing a used BMW is so much bang for your buck. Now, without further ado, I'm just gonna get right into the video and going into my first reason. So the first reason why BMWs are such a good value when purchasing them used um, is due to the fact that they depreciate so much and fairly quickly from when they're brand new. Now, what I mean by this is when you purchase a brand new BMW, generally they're fairly expensive. You know, they're kind of pricey. They're German luxury and performance vehicles. That's just part of the cost. But one of the upsides to someone who's looking to purchase one in the secondhand market or in the used market is the fact that they can pick one of these vehicles up for a greatly depreciated price. For example, um, a 2015 or a 2016 BMW 328i sedan um, probably would go for around, you know, the mid 30,000, even close to 40,000 range, depending on the uh, options that you spec the car with. And now you could find one of those just, you know, a year, two years later for, you know, the low to mid 20,000 um, dollar range and with a fairly low amount of, of miles, you know, around 20 to 30,000 miles on the car. Uh, even looking at models which are older and uh, beyond, you know, those have even more of a depreciation. There's even more value in those cars, in my opinion. Um, for example, my car is an 07 BMW 335i, uh, E92 coupe generation, and uh, I still have the original window sticker, and the car went for $53,672 brand new. And that was fully spec'd out with navigation, heated seats, and the sport package, the cold weather package, premium package, power sunshade, uh, Harman Kardon surround sound system, all that good stuff. And you know, I picked this car up for a fairly cheap price. You know, some I, I'm not going to say the exact price, but uh, between the ten to fifteen thousand dollar mark. And so, and that's where a lot of 335s are are at uh, the current the way the market currently stands in addition to that even cars looking a little bit uh, past that the e46 generation as well uh, those cars you know you can pick them up for around five or six grand and they're still great cars so there's a lot of value to be found within the depreciated used uh, BMW segment going into reason number two um, about why there's so much value in these cars used is um, the performance that they hold now as many of us do know bmw is a luxury performance car brand and one thing that bmw never fails to compromise with is adding performance into their cars even if it's on the most high-end luxury line of their vehicles that they offer there's still performance and sportiness to be found in all their models three series five series seven series every one of them bmws are great cars when it comes to steering feel handling uh the power delivery and performance these are cars which are capable you know not only as daily driving cars and as commuters but as well they also have great performance you know around canyon roads and even on a track they're extremely fun to drive you get great steering feel great handling uh amazing inline six engine sounds and they're just cars which they feel so good to drive there really isn't anything like a bmw um in my opinion when you're driving one of these and just overall the performance on these cars are incredible so going into the third reason about why i believe purchasing a used bmw has so much bang for your buck um, is due to the fact that bmw really know how to style their cars well and when i'm talking about this i'm primarily uh, going to be analyzing the exterior and aesthetic design of bmws overall um, in my opinion personally and this is kind of subjective but i think bmw makes great looking cars and in addition to that they're cars which are very timeless in design um, you know looking back on an e46 bmw around the years from 2000 to 2005 and even the e90 and e92 generation they're still cars which you know they are still vehicles which look so modern on the road today and they feel modern even when sitting inside them and stuff minus some of the electronics which can go into the cars um, you know these are beautiful cars bmw is fairly subtle when it comes to design changes and constantly refreshing their models 
BMW tends to just kind of evolve one model rather than introduce something blatantly new, which can be both good and bad, but I think for the most part, BMW has succeeded in doing this, and they know how to get the proportions right with their cars. You know, something about the way that the, the lines of the uh, car, the way the fenders, the trunk, and the hood, the way the doors kind of all mesh together and they blend into this seamlessly beautiful aesthetic package that BMWs are. And, you know, I think that's part of the reason why they have such a great look and, you know, 10 to 15 years down the road, these cars still look great on the road today. That's one of the best things in my opinion, you know, not only are you going to be getting a great performance machine for uh, a great value, but at the same time, you're getting a beautiful car that looks good both on the interior and exterior as well. And going into my fourth and final reason is uh, the amount of luxury and comfort features which BMWs offer. Now, one of the greatest things about BMWs is their ride quality. Um, BMW generally tends to, you know, tune the ride quality between this perfect balance of uh, sportiness and uh, performance and you know comfort so not BMWs have this great blend so that when you're driving them you know they don't feel like they're overly soft and stuff so that you can't throw the car down you know back roads or canyon roads but at the same time they're comfortable enough to where when you're daily commuting or driving on the highway and stuff these cars are very comfortable to be in they have a very nice ride quality to them and that ride quality isn't compromised by the performance tuning or even the performance suspension options on these cars. In addition to that, there are plenty of luxury amenities and features which BMWs provide. Um, and that can range from anything from like the dual zone climate control to the navigation to heated seats to the, you know, the full power adjustable moonroof, rear sunshade, all kinds of stuff. Plenty of space in the trunk, um, you know, very roomy rear seats all sorts of things you get nice leather and uh, quality materials and padding everywhere on the car so overall it's just a really great package for uh, both you know comfort and luxury features and there's a lot of great styling in the interiors as well as you know high quality materials and stuff which can make your everyday drive much more pleasurable um, than it would be in say you know like a honda or like a toyota car for example uh, so anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video today. Thank you so much for all the support recently. Um, I'm almost at the 250 subscriber mark, which is epic. I wasn't even uh, anticipating my channel to grow this quick, to be honest, but I'm really thankful and glad that it is. Um, stay tuned for more videos, you guys. There's going to be tons of more videos on my 335i. Um, I actually recently just got coilovers for the car, so um, I'll be hopefully doing an install video or a review video on those soon. But yeah, thank you guys again. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.